I will not give you one rupee to the shareholder. Whatever profit I earn, I'll keep it as savings. I have given almost hundred percent to the shareholder. Whatever profit company earned, it has given to shareholder. Whatever profit earned, everything keep it as retained earning. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adha Sir here, lecturer in Vidya Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session one and financial management. Now we are starting a new topic called your dividend decision. Now, what is dividend? The part of your profit will be given to whom? Shareholders. That is only we call it as dividend. The management has to take decision whether we should give complete amount as a dividend or whatever you have earned profit. Completely they have to give it to the shareholders or else they have to keep some amount and remaining has to be given to the shareholders. All these kind of decisions has to be taken under dividend decision. Now, in this we have two types. One will be Walter's model and one will be your garden's model. Everything we will discuss in today's session. We'll go for the next slide. Your agenda is concept along with problem. Today we'll understand concept. Once you are done with concept, we will work out one problem on that. The meaning of dividend decision. Before we go to definition, I will give you in general this thing. Now, in general, what is dividend decision? Now, for example, the company has earned profit of 10,000. What company has to do with the 10,000? One, they can keep it with themselves or else the 10,000 has to be distributed as dividend to the shareholder. Now, out of 10,000, just assume that out of 10,000, 8,000 given to shareholder. Out of 10,000, 8,000 given to shareholder. So this 8,000 is called as dividend distribution. Now, out of 10,000 profit, they have given 8,000 to the shareholder and balance 2,000 they kept for further investment or some other reserve or else we can call it as retained earning. Hope you are clear. Out of 10,000, 8,000 given as dividend and balance 2,000 kept it as the retained earning. Now, these kind of, one more example I'll give you, they got 10,000, complete 10,000 given for shareholder, your retained earning is zero. Example number three, they got 10,000, complete 10,000, they have saved, they have given dividend of zero, so complete 10,000 retained earning. See, example one, they have given almost 80%, 8,000. Example number two, they have given almost 100% to the shareholder. Whatever profit company earned, it has given to shareholder. Now, in the example number three, whatever 10,000 earned, in that nothing is given to shareholder. Everything is kept as savings. Hope you are clear. Yes, all these three are called as, it is company's decision that they can give dividend or else they can keep it as a savings. Now, all this we call it as dividend decision. Hope you are clear. What is dividend decision? Whether they should give full, whether they should give part of the amount or whether they retained as earning. All these decisions we call it as dividend decision. Hope you are clear. Yes, now. The dividend decision is a concerned with the quantum of profit to be distributed among the shareholder. A decision has to be taken whether all the profit are to be distributed to retain all the profit in business or to keep a part of profit in the business. See, all three examples I have given. Keep it as a profit, distribute or keep half and remaining distribute. All this we call it as dividend decision. 
we'll go for first one under dividend district the major two things are walters model and gardens model now we'll go for first one walters model under dividend district also we have concept called walters model before i go to answer i'll explain you what is the concept of walters model under walters model the concept is whatever profit earned everything keep it as retained earning dividend is given zero i'll not give you 1 rupee to the shareholder whatever profit i earned i'll keep it as savings now the company will not give even 1 rupee also they always go with irr internal rate of return if your internal rate of return is more then what company does they will keep all the profit for future investment they will not distribute to any shareholder if your internal rate of return is lesser than your cost then what it does it will give your earnings now in this what happened then the company will give dividend in this what happens very simple lesser than irr means it is nothing but your declining company your income is more than your cost means it is growing company hope you are clear yes now i'll go for this the following information of xyz capital is how much 20 lakh earning of the company is rupees 2 lakh what is the capital invested 20 lakh what is the income earned almost 10% they have earned 2 lakh dividend paid is 1 lakh 60 see out of 2 lakh 1 lakh 60000 given as dividend only 40000 is left now earning ratio is 12.5% what is the earning ratio 12.5% number of price earning ratio is 12.5 number of shares outstanding is 20000 shares you are required to find out whether the company's dividend paid out ratio is optimal using walters model as per walters model what we should not give even 1 rupee also keep everything as saving and invest for further now i'll go for the answer in this three formulas you have to apply three things i'll explain you that first one you have to find out earning per share and dividend there is a first one earning per share and dividend you have to find out well, how to find out total earning divided by number of shares total earning is how much 2 lakh what are the number of shares 20000 what is the earning per share 10 rupee dividend is what dividend paid 1 lakh 60 and number of shares 20000 you have given almost 8 rupees per share your earning is 10 rupee and you have given 8 rupees per share as dividend hope you are clear your first thing is done eps and dividend what is the first thing eps and dividend now what is the next one your rate rate is what your rate we have to find out total earning divided by total equity what percentage is your earning now your total earning is 2 lakh your total equity is 2 lakh 20 lakh you got 10% income what is your income 10% now it is nothing but whatever earning per share you calculated 10 rupee we have converted to percentage whatever dividend is paid out we convert into percentage now cost of equity 1 divided by price earning rate 1 divided by your what is a price earning rate 12.5 into 100 where do you get this 12.5 i'll show you your price earning rate is 12.5 now 1 divided by 12.5 into 100 you get 0.08 if you convert to 100 you will get 8% your cost of equity there is a second one we have to find out rate we have to find out ke there is a second one 
what is the first one you have to find out eps and we have to find out dividend there is a first one we'll go to third one what is the third one now your price it is nothing but dividend plus your rate divided by cost of equity earning minus dividend now in this what happens your present value so cost of equity divided by cost of equity what is your dividend we calculated it is 8 rupee what is the rate we got it is around 10 percent now so this we have to take it as percentage then e earning minus dividend it will be 10 rupee minus 2 rupee now calculate so 0 0.10 divided by 0 0.08 add 8 rupee then it will be how much can multiply with 10 minus 8 how much you will get you will get almost 10.5 you will get how much you will get 10.5 divide by 0 0.08 if you calculate you will get 131.5 five hope you are clear these are the calculation there are total three calculation here you have to find p hope you are clear yes now so we'll go for the definition or conclusion here in this at present that dividend payout ratio is 80 percent because out of 10 rupee you have given 8 80 percent since it is a growth company having internal rate of return greater than cost if your income is more than your cost that is rate is 10 percent cost of equity is 8 percent now the firm payout ratio is 80 percent is not optimal as per the Walters model what is the Walters model you should not give even one rupee also everything has to be reinvested model the market price of the company's share shall be maximum if it retain 100% of the profit and the dividend payout ratio is zero. As per this, we got answer 80%. As per Walter's model, the dividend payout ratio should be zero. We don't have zero, we have 80% now. That's why as per Walter's model, we are not supposed to give dividend. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, so these are the information we have. I'll go out of the screen so that you can take screenshot. But you have to remember three formulas. One is for your earning per share and dividend. And the second one, cost of equity. And the third one, your present value, all this calculation. Now, so I'll go for this. What is the meaning of dividend decision? Your problem number one on Walters model. Your solution part one. Solution part two. Solution part three. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. So please work out this and we'll do more problems on Walters model and Gordon's model. You will understand better because similar kind of problems if you get, you will understand better. Please work out at home. Thank you.